Good morning, Detectorettes. Well, barely morning, as you can see. I'm gassing up here for another run. Yesterday, late at night, coming home, I discovered a street tear out. That's where I'm going. All right, I'll see you when I get there. Okay, Detectorettes, starts way down there and goes all the way to there. Okay, Detectorettes, I've been digging lots of iron and trash. Nothing notable so far. Got a great signal there in the 50s and pulled this out. Now, I'm calling this notable because it's very tough, but uh, this is shaped like it had purpose. So, we'll stick that in the pouch and check it out closer later. Alright, wish me luck. Really hoping for an Indian head penny. Something along those lines would be awesome. Just one hole away from a really good day. Let's see if I can find where that hole is. Hey, well, after a lot of junk, I got another interesting piece. Can't see if it says anything on it, but, uh, looks weird and this feels kind of leathery around here so I don't know exactly what it is yet but uh, we'll try and clean that up and uh, take a closer look at it at home okay detector rats it's no IHP but I'm feeling semi successful found that last strange piece right there came over this way got a 54 signal thought it could be a penny it was a little deeper than it said it would be but well, that's part of a buckle, all right. I'm uh, not much sure about anything else about it, but uh, that sure looks like part of a buckle to me. So, happy to have that. I'm going to stick that in the pocket and keep swinging on. Okay. Got a very repeatable 54 there, and it wasn't that deep. Flipped it out, probed through the debris, and found this. So, uh, all I can see right now is that it's round. I'm going to try to clean it up a little and uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay. Well, 99% sure it's a bottle cap. I'll clean it up more at home. We'll take a closer look at it. Alright, got a little exciting there for a second. <laughs> maybe the next one's going to be it. Heck, maybe this one was and I just don't know it yet. Alright, let me get back to swinging. Got a great signal in the 60s here. Flipped it out. Looks like something interesting. Couldn't tell you what just yet, but uh, huh. not entirely sure. That's not a crushed ring. All right, let me see if I can clean it up a little more, and uh, I will get right back to you. Okay, I got it cleaned up a little more. Kind of looks like a crushed junk ring, but then I don't know about this flat area here. So right now, still anybody's guess. Cool find. I'm going to throw that in the pouch. We'll analyze it a little more later. All right, on we go. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, but I finally got a coin. I had to really scrape it down. It's a penny. It's a memorial. <laughs> it's making me happy, man. That's going in the pocket. We'll clean it up a little bit better later at home. I'm going to keep swinging. Alrighty, Detectorettes. I've been working out there in the hot sun for a couple of hours now. I got that thing that looks like a junk ring, but I don't really think it is. I got that penny. A couple other little interesting pieces. Now I'm right next to a museum here. And over there is a military memorial park and it probably gets quite a bit of activity so since it also has quite a bit of shade I'm gonna head over there next and see what I can find before I wrap this day up wish me luck I'll see you at the next hole 
Okay, Detector Rats. I'm up in front of this museum. They got a line of flagpoles, about 13 of them. So I figured I'd just go around these areas. Right down there in that corner. Just popped a nice old nickel. Can't really uh, see a year on it or anything. Let me step into the light. But uh, yeah, she's definitely a nickel. I'll throw that one in the pouch and look for more. Alrighty, so I was uh, just a few feet away from that nickel. Came down here, got a nice shield penny. Awesome stuff. Alright, that one was followed by another penny. Good day, good day. And just like that, another penny. I think this area up near the old fountain is going to be a good spot for change if people were using it like a wishing well. But as I get further out down there, it's probably going to get a little more scarce. We'll see though. Okay, it's got a nice quarter signal here. Looks like it's got a buffalo on the back or cow's head or something. Pretty cool. Awesome stuff. A few more penny signals out here. I'm going to dig those and move to the next area. Okay, I've been working up through this side of the flagpoles and figured I'd work down the other side after. Been getting some pennies. That's good. A little bit of trash. Down here I got a great 73 signal and uh, pulled my first dime of the day. I can't see a year on it. It's about four inches down, but uh, yeah, we'll check it out a little later. All right. Okay, now we're on it. I got a dime right over there. Right there, actually. I came to this section and swung. I got a dime signal right here. Said it was shallow, but I had to dig in about two inches. And look at that. Looks like I got a ring. Could be a silver ring by the coloration of it. Let me clean it up and I'll get right back to you. Okay, Detector Rats. Right there's where I got the ring. Yeah, out here in the light, seems to have some shiny stones on it. And down both sides. On the inside, there is a marking. Uh, not clean enough for me to get anything clear off of it yet. Let me see if I can get that to focus. But uh, I see a K at the end, I think. So this this could be a 925, and then show the carrots of the the diamonds if that's what those are in there. I don't know. We're gonna clean this one up at home. Definitely got a treasure here. On with the hunt. Alright, I've gotten a few pennies since I got that ring down there. And I uh, just got another nice signal here. Looks like I just pulled my second nickel of the day. That's a sweet one. Alright, I'm going to get on with it. Start heading down this other side here. A great signal right here at the edge. One beat to crap quarter. I'll tell you what. That's beautiful though. Love getting the quarters. All right, a few more spaces to go, then I'm out of here. Okay, Detectorettes, it's time for the roundup. Got quite a bit of trash today. Little stuff. I didn't do too well out in the road. You know, I got this thing, I think is an old lead from a tire weight. And this, which tricked me at first, looking like a coin with that edge, but it's just a cap. This I can't clean any better than it is. Might be part of an old shotgun head stamp. I found this at first I thought was a ring. As you know it's got that nice rounded edge but it is totally flat on this side. And of course it's junk metal. There's no markings so whatever it went to I have no clue. Probably my best find out of the street was this buckle piece. And that's pretty cool. No telling how long that had been there. I went up and hunted the park area, the uh, memorial park, and got nothing. And then went over by the row of flagpoles and really cleaned up on change. Now this I thought was a mangolated quarter, but it turns out to be a Sacagawea dollar. So, super cool there. Kind of cleaned up her face a little. Well, let me see. Which way is... Which way is up? There we go. So I believe this is a 2000. Yep. And that thing has been beat to crap. I got one quarter. 
it's a 2007 from Montana so that was pretty cool to get I got 17 cents in pennies no wheats in the crowd at all I got two nickels one of them is a 1964 and the other one hard hard to see there is a 1995 and then I got one dime which looks to be a 2000 something 2001 I believe and the best find of all was of course the ring and this sucker is cleaned up beautifully it's got some nice stones in it uh, it's marked on the inside 925 I can put some pictures up at the end here with a star after the 925 so very beautiful super happy to have that it been on the ground a long time and that was my day like I say at the end of the day you're only gonna find what God wants you to find so I wonder how long God had that waiting in the ground waiting for little old me to come along either way I am thankful for it I'd have been thankful without it too I had a good time got to try something new I'd never done a street uh, tear out before so that was pretty cool and during the cleanup as you can see on some of these coins where I've got the detail brought out like the the wording and such uh, was because I used these these little Andres well, that one's not marked but uh, this one is yeah Andres yeah, hard to see in this light but they're special pencils and cleaning tools for coins and artifacts and it was uh, pretty cheap for the set I think like eight bucks or something and so I was pretty happy with that um, thanks for watching I'm glad you came along for the adventure please remember to like share and subscribe now I did not get the Indian head penny I was hoping to get and yet somehow I don't care because <laughs> I still had a great time and I hope you did too uh, God bless and don't forget you're only one hole away from a really good day. That was mine today.